notes so I don't get too off track here. So a lot of you may know that recently with my sewing projects, I've been trying to go completely recycled material. Not only is this better for the environment, but if we're being perfectly honest, a lot of the reason is because I am a grade A cheapskate. But one of the things I've struggled with is making a period costume out of recycled materials because a lot of the times you need like eight yards of one single material and a lot of the times I really struggle with finding those items in secondhand shops. But Sony recently approached me about making a costume for one of the sisters from Little Women. The sister that I was assigned is Jo March, who is by far my favorite, so I'm so excited that I got her. I just relate to her in a lot of ways. Short temper, a taste for gentleman's fashion, doesn't accept criticism. So for Jo, I decided to do this outfit, which is the outfit you see in the very beginning of the film. I was just instantly drawn to it. Number one, because it is something that I would totally wear. Number two, it has a lot of different parts to it. So a lot of period costumes from that era, 1860s, are all basically one fabric. And like I said, that's really hard to do with recycled fabrics. So I specifically chose this outfit because there are a bunch of different materials, therefore making it easier to use scraps that I already have and or recycled stuff. How many times have I said recycled? I also feel like this method kind of fits with Jo because out of any of the sisters, I feel like she would totally make an outfit out of whatever Marmy has lying around. Little Woman is actually available now on digital. Comes out DVD, Blu-ray on April 7th. And in case you weren't aware, Little Woman won the Academy Award for Best Costume and the DVD comes with over 45 minutes of bonus materials, including a deep dive into Jacqueline Duran's Oscar-winning costume design. Let's get started. I am very nervous. I have never made a waistcoat or a blouse or a skirt of this magnitude. So this is a bunch of firsts for me and I'm really hoping that it works out. This will be a journey for both you and for me. Let's talk about materials. For the materials, I have this vintage fabric that I found at an antique store for the skirt. For the waistcoat, I'm using this old skirt that I don't wear anymore, as well as a tablecloth that I got at a thrift store, and then a thrifted bed sheet for the blouse. So the part about this project that is a little bit different, I will be sort of hodgepodging a bunch of patterns together to make this because I don't have one specific pattern for the whole outfit. So first is this old pattern from some point in the past 40s or 50s, which has a bunch of Halloween costumes. And specifically, I'm going to use the skirt pattern used across all of these pieces, a bunch of different corset tops, which I will probably modify and make that into her waistcoat. I don't have a waistcoat pattern. I just think instead of these laces, I'm just gonna leave some extra room for buttons and buttonholes. For the blouse, I do have a this sleeve pattern that I used in my Harley video. Again, I will most likely be using that kind of sleeves that she has. Bell sleeves or bishop sleeves. Look at me pretending I have any idea what I'm talking about. And then I do... <laughs> I do have a wig. So I decided to go pretty much full on cosplay with this and not just an inspired gown. Ooh, what's Fun. I love when wigs come with free stuff. Look like Shakira. I felt like from here down it was really perfectly Joe, especially when, you know, you can pull it a little bit like this. So now that you've seen all the materials and all the patterns I have planned for this, I guess we can just get started. Can you take me seriously wearing this wig? Let's get started. <laughs> Starting off with the skirt, the pattern was basically only two pieces, the side and back panel, and then the front panel. After a good old wrestle with the fabric, I managed to finally get it properly laid out. I put the first pattern piece down, pinned it, and cut. Then I put the front panel on the fold and repeated that process. 
After I put it on my dress form, I realized it didn't quite have the volume that I wanted, so I ended up cutting out another one of the front sections to put in the back. So altogether, the skirt is four pieces. I sewed all the panels together and tried it on, and did a very important swoosh test. Then I gathered the waist down to my waist measurement. I know I could do this with the machine, but I preferred to do it by hand. I decided I wanted to make a waistband for it, so I took some interfacing the length of my waist and then covered it with fabric and attached it to the gathered part of the skirt. Okay, here is the skirt so far. I just put the waistband and hemmed everything. The inside is definitely not pretty, but shh. I think I'm gonna put a buttonhole and then a button just so I can slip it on and off and it has this little slit here. So I think that's it for today. So I will see you tomorrow. <sighs> Excuse me, my eyes are down here. <laughs> it is now day two of this project. I have the skirt pretty much done and I will show you. Here she is. I am quite happy with it. It's not quite as um, swooshy as I would have liked. Uh, maybe I'll throw a layer on underneath. But this morning I did the little button enclosure, so she's cute. It's double purpose because I will totally wear this even when I am not in costume, so. I am going to try to take on the waistcoat. Like I said, I have this pattern. I don't fully know how this is gonna work because ideally I would have had a pattern for an actual waistcoat similar to what Joe wears. Hopefully I can make it close enough. The corset vest pattern had three basic pieces, so I laid them out over the old skirt. Okay, so here's the thing. Initially I thought that this corset top would work, this whole pattern, but upon Further looking at the reference photo, I think I'm gonna pause on this. It's very clear in that outfit that it's definitely more of a masculine styled waistcoat and it's just been kind of more tailored to her body. So I think that's what I'm gonna do instead. So I just ordered a pack of a bunch of different waistcoats and some of those include men's waistcoats. A little bit of a delay, uh, a little frustrating, but I think I want to get this right and I wanted to stop it now before I got halfway through making this corset and I already ripped up all the fabric and stuff so both the blouse and the waistcoat pattern will be here in a few days. See you then. And we're back. Jeez. Oh, oh. It is now a few days later. The two patterns that I ordered have come in. So I'll show you what I got. I got this baby. Quintessential mid 2000s style. Look at that. So I do plan to use probably mostly the men's pattern because the woman's pattern has a weird halter top. And then I ordered a simple blouse pattern. I plan to use those big sleeves from the other pattern, but I needed a base for the actual shirt because I, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to that, so. My plan for today, I'm gonna start with the vest and then see where timing leads me. Decided to make a vest. I also feel like this is a gateway that I don't want to open. If you see me in a month walking around with about 13.5 different vests made of tablecloths. There's not much I can say about that. Here we go. The waistcoat. This one had a few more pieces, but for the black velvet, there was only four. And then for the back tablecloth material, there were two more pattern pieces. No idea if I'm in frame or not. I cut out all the pieces of the vest. Uh, I pinned together the base and this is what I have so far. I did end up doing the extra small after kind of fitting the paper pattern to myself. As you can see, I have the two materials, the tablecloth and then the old skirt. This is a little too long. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe trim this around 
here. Yeah, I think that would work a lot better. I don't think I have a fabric that would work as a lining right now, and I can't go to the fabric store, so <laughs> it is what it is. Let's get this sewn together, shall we? What is that? What is that? What is that? The best collar is a piece of interfacing sandwiched between two velvet pieces and then turned inside out. It is now a few days later. I have mainly been working on the vest. It is mostly done. The black velvet front with the collar and then the back is that more linen-esque tablecloth material. It should fit pretty well. That's nice. And now I'm going to just sew on the buttons and do the buttonholes. On to buttons. The buttonholes were done with my machine and it is basically my new favorite thing to do. For the shirt, there were a lot of different parts. But the sleeves only had two. The collar for the shirt was very similar to the vest. It's a piece of interfacing underneath two pieces of fabric. I also cut down the shape of the collar a bit because it was, was a little too much. Then when you sew and turn it inside out, the piece of interfacing is right in the middle. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled a lot with the shirt and ended up messing up and redoing parts at least four times. The sleeves were a whole lot easier and to save time, I used pins to gather the bottoms onto the cuffs and then just sewed that directly. Makeup was relatively simple. I just closely followed a few reference photos of Sersha, contouring my face to make my features resemble hers. For the freckles, I just took a brow pencil and dotted them on and then pat them out to make them a little less dramatic. And then it was time for the contacts. <laughs> Here she is, Joe March, made out of completely recycled materials. This was a lot of fun. Very time consuming. Yes, it would have been much quicker if I used items I already had, like a black vest and a white blouse. But to be honest, I kind of just wanted to see if I could do it. And I wanted to challenge myself to make items that I take for granted and that I wear all the time, just to kind of see how things are constructed. I'm glad I made everything. I feel like if I had just used things I already had, it wouldn't, ow.
it wouldn't feel as special and it wouldn't feel as authentic. So I do think this skirt is not as heavy as skirts would be back then. Or it doesn't really fall exactly like hers would, but I think it still works and I think it's still comfy. And then the waistcoat I'm very excited about. I will totally be wearing this on other occasions. I think it's very flattering. And as far as the makeup and the hair, it's kind of hard to get this wig right. I think it's a little too dark up here, but I think the texture is perfect for her hair. And as far as the makeup, I am pleasantly surprised. I didn't think that I would look anything like her. I think I still look like me, but from certain angles, if you squint really hard, that's all I'm asking for. That's Thank you so much, Sony, for even giving me this opportunity, and I had a ton of fun. Little Woman was seriously a beautiful film, and the costumes and cinematography and actresses all were amazing. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend. Like I said, it is out now on digital and out on DVD and Blu-ray April 7th. Also, make sure you check out my other sisters. I will have all their information down below so you can go check out their videos. Been kind of chatting, so I've seen a lot of the progress and some of the final products, but I haven't seen their videos yet, so I'm very excited about that. They are all freaking amazing and talented, so make sure you go check them out. That is it. I love you guys, whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday, except for today, because today's Tuesday, and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. With the phone calls. Ugh. Bye. No. On digital, no. Oh, I actually cracked it. It's just a bunch of jeans on their scooters, man. Fake bangs, why are you doing me dirty? I have coffee bean stuck in my teeth. Hold on. All the donor siblings, my husband is the only perfect match for him. Sorry, ruffles in my teeth. Classy. Look at that snoot. This should be. Oh yeah. for even giving me this this opportunity. Hey, good boy. Are you a good boy? Well, that's one way to transition. Face plant.